a steal from the Brazilian team to get things underway. Ramirez de Costa with the ball there. Spins and backs out. She'll try back around to penetrate from the top. And Suarez Martins gets the first shot away and it's two points. So Suarez Martin fittingly scores the first two points of this playoff. Belts, unable to get the shot away. But France maintains possession. Glemp Etvard has been a solid performer for the French side. Passes off, but the pass is bad. Belts back with the ball. Under pressure, the French side and Brazil. A missed shot and a good rebound from Blandine Belts. She passes down the court, but it's a poor execution for the Brazilian coach, Wilson Flavio de Silva Carrillo, not happy either, probably telling his players they need to man up a little tighter and put a bit more pressure and, and even try and get some offensive boards. So it's a long tournament for these teams. They've got to back up day after day, and if we get into the quarterfinals, well, Potentially, there's still the quarterfinals, the semis, and then if you make it far enough to the middle rounds, another final as well. So a whole another three matches for the teams that finished in the top four of the pool. Pichon shoots. Two points for France. So we'll have a timeout. So scores locked it to all. In early in the first quarter. So just bringing you up to date again. So the women's quarterfinals that get underway this afternoon, Australia and Mexico, the Netherlands and China, Germany plays Great Britain and the United States plays Canada. So Australia finished on the top of Group A. The Netherlands finished second. Canada third. Great Britain fourth. And Brazil finished bottom on of Group A. And in Group B, Germany finished on top of that group. The United States second. China third. And Mexico fourth with France rounding out in fifth position. So these were the two bottom teams. No wins for either side in this tournament. So another two points for Brazil. So you'd have to think this afternoon, Australia will have a relatively straightforward win over Mexico. Mexico finishing fourth in Group B. The Netherlands playing China. That'll be an interesting match. Germany and Great Britain will be very interesting. I think Germany will be too strong, but Great Britain with the support of their home side as a ball just rolls out of the basket there for the number 11, Emily Menard. We have seen these GB athletes be able to perform extremely well with the support of their home crowd. And then the United States versus Canada. That will be very interesting indeed. So the United States finishing second in their group. Another two points we have. And uh, Canada finishing third in their group. So it's a really tight tussle at the top of Group A. All the top three teams won three matches and only lost one. So that was Australia, the Netherlands and Canada. 
bit different in Group B. Germany undefeated. Then the USA lost one. China was 2-2. Two, two. Mexico 1-3. So seven plays to Brazil taking an early lead in this classification playoff for ninth and tenth in the competition. France's possession from the baseline. As far as Martin scoring four of those seven points for Brazil. Oh, lovely steal there. Guimaraes da Costa races down the court. Can she finish it? She can't. Oh, that's disappointing. It was a lovely steal. And she's managed to grab possession again. So inspired play here from Brazil. As far as Martins. Scores another two points, so she's already got six to her name. So you could see that mighty Matthias was already looking down the court, deciding what to do next, and uh, Gomeras de Costa able to roll on past and simply pluck the ball out of her hands. So that's Dillapen who lobs it over. A lovely two points there from Emily Menard. So opening the court right up there. So nine plays four, 5.27 left to run in the first quarter. So France struggling a little offensively. That was a lovely piece of play. They found the basket. Emily Menard is just encouraging this free flow of play and creating space, using her speed, going slightly wide rather than just cutting down the middle. So Guimaraes de Costa Going to go for a long shot, but not successful. So Delapine with the ball. Pichon. One of the France's best players. Delapine with the ball. Passes off to Menard. Unable to score. But they get a second attempt, and that's good play from Delapine. She was in a good spot. Rebounded the ball straight back in.
This is Paralympic Sport TV's coverage of the women's wheelchair basketball at North Greenwich Arena. Amy Bainbridge with you, and this is the classification playoff. Ninth versus tenth, both of these teams chasing their first wins of the tournament. And coach to Silver Korea. Very animated. And this is Pascal Monte. So the star of the Brazilian side, Suarez Martins, passes in to another young star, Guimaraes de Costa. The shot's bad. She rebounds and short this time. So long the first time, short the second time. So a little lob in to Suarez Martins. She had two defensive players with their hands over the top of her. A third defensive player putting pressure on her that she still took the shot, drew the foul. Now she'll go to the line for two shots. Brazil 8, France, Brazil 11 rather, France 8, 340 left to play in the first quarter. Ball went out of bounds. So a lob over to Suarez Martins. She takes her shot. It looked as though it was going to bounce out, but it sort of rolled and bounced around the, the basket and fell in. 13-8. Trapped at the halfway mark. And uh, the Brazilian defence forcing the error. I think a foul's being called. No. Looking at a chair adjustment, I believe. I can't quite see it on camera there, but there we have it. So, a little assistance to Glimp Etvard. So a lovely shot there from the star yet again, Suarez Martins. So already, we're not even at the end of the first quarter and she already has shot 12 points. Delapine, two points. Lovely cut through the middle.
far as Martins. Going to look at her shot again. Not successful this time. The ball bounces off a, one of the French players and it'll be Brazil's position, possession from the side. France grabs the rebound. As far as Martins, yet again, 14 points in the first quarter. 17 plays 10, so Brazil Building a lead here, not one that's comfortable yet, but still seven points, a handy lead nevertheless. So plenty of full court pressure here from the Brazilian defence. And as you can see, the pressure on and they wind down the shot clock. So Brazil will have possession. So things not exactly going France's way at the moment. So this is the first time these teams have played each other this tournament, of course, because they're in the two different pool groups. So the two free throws unsuccessful from Pichon and really can't afford to be missing two free throws at this level. I believe in this tournament they've uh, had a pretty awful record with free throws. France, the lowest scoring side of this tournament. So that marks the end of the first quarter. 17-10, Brazil in the lead. France off to a sluggish start, it would seem, and just missing things like free throws and a number of shots under the basket. But uh, at the moment, Brazil taking far more attempts at the basket as well. And uh, Brazil is shooting at just 41% of field goals. And 56% uh, for France, but they've had fewer attempts to score.
So quarter time break, almost over, and it will be Brazil that has the possession from the half court line. So 17-10 Brazil in an early lead. What can France do to get their first win of this tournament? So some intensity and a bit better communication coming out in this second quarter from both sides. So again, the defensive pressure applied by Brazil is impressive. And you'd have to think that what is France going to do to try and break this defense? Well, they could start by putting a little bit more defensive pressure on Suarez Martins. May mean they have to double team her. I don't know, but certainly she scored 14 of the 17 points you can see on the scoreboard there. They're gonna have to put a stop to her. And this young woman as well, feeding the ball in so the defensive pressure's just not there. So Delapine puts a hand up but it's ineffective. Da Costa, Guamari's Da Costa just able to feed it in so easily to Suarez Martins. So another two points, this time from De Costa. So all of a sudden, 21 plays 10 in this second quarter and France needs to be careful here. The lead will blow out. So what can they find out here? And this is the problem. As Etvard had a shot, it was right on the, the shot clock and it wasn't a great execution. They're under so much pressure from the Brazilian defense and it's forcing them to, to wait to take their shots rather than attacking this Brazilian defense. Not able to penetrate. And leaving it too late to make a decision on the shot and then missing. Can we get a score here? We can. So that's number 12, Belts, who's been a contributor so far this game. She has been playing well. And perhaps she is the player the French side needs to look to. Suarez Martins again. Misses this time. De Costa has the ball smacked away. Out of her hands and then out of bounds. But it will be Brazil's ball again.
So excellent crowd here for the morning session of the basketball. So this isn't the only game today. Of course, this is the playoff for nine and ten. We've got the quarterfinals coming up for all four women's basketball quarterfinals to be played today. So plenty of events happening. There's a lot of track and field on today. We've got Boccia Equestrian. Wheelchair fencing is now underway at London 2012. Was Martins yet again. So she now has 18 points halfway through the second quarter. A lot of talk happening. We'll have a sub, will we? We will. So Delapine shoots. It's a difficult shot. She had a hand in her face. She was kind of leaning backwards and a lot of traffic in the key there, but that gives it to Costa Costa a chance to score. So a long bomb from the French side. Dorje with the ball. So France unable to score, 25 plays, 12, 3.30 to go in the second quarter. So Brazil, they have this unstoppable player in Suarez Martins, doing so much damage. 20 points to, points to her name already.
And yet again, Brazil's defence just able to pressure the French side so much that they infringe on the shot clock. And Dorje is fouled on her way to the basket, so she'll have two shots. And it's critical that France starts making these free throws. As I mentioned, France unable to be consistent on these free throws. Well, they're consistently missing, and that's the problem. So two minutes and nine seconds left in the second quarter. 27 plays 12. France being comprehensively beaten at both ends of the court. So another foul and France will go to the line again. There were two seconds left on the shot clock.
So belts to score. They needed that going into half time. So 31 plays 14. Brazil unable to get a quick score. So 31 14, it's half time. Brazil in absolute command of this match. Suarez Martins, the captain, has scored 24 points for Brazil. 24 of the team's total of 31 by the halftime point. Uh, if we look at the rebounds and the other statistics that are of note, uh, Guimaraes de Costa has rebounds, uh, four rebounds, and she has six assists, and we have seen her just teaming so well with Suarez Martins. Nazar Santos has three rebounds for Brazil as well. And uh, Guimaraes de Costa, she has four steals, so very, very valuable statistics there for her. If we look at the French side, well, there's a handful of players that have scored more than once. Santa Mar Delapin has four points to her name. Menard has four and Belts has four. But really, there's not much else of note from the French side at the moment. Rebounding, nothing particularly special. Glemp Etevard has four rebounds in total. Only one player has multiple assists, that is Menard. And that's about it, really. So if we look at the team statistics at this half time, the field goal percentage for Brazil, 39%. France, 56%. The problem is that France has only taken 15 attempts compared to Brazil's 34 attempts. So big differences there. France has not made a free throw yet in this match. They're none from seven. And uh, Brazil has made three of four. So they haven't been to the line as often, but uh, they're certainly making it count when they do go to the line. 18 team rebounds for France in total. Doesn't seem 100% correct, only because when we looked at the individual statistics, nobody had really seemed to, to step up. But I guess it's an even spread. If we look back at the statistics, it's an even spread of the players Glemp Etevard has four, Delapin three, Belts three, Pichon three. So half time, they're trying to keep the crowd a little entertained here. A healthy crowd, of course, the North Greenwich Arena, a capacity of 20,000 spectators, and we can certainly expect to see it very, very full today and also for the rest of the week as we move through this final series. And if you're just getting up to speed with what's going on, I will remind you that after this match at one o'clock this afternoon, we have the first of the women's quarterfinals, Australia and Mexico. Then at 3.15 local time this afternoon, we have Netherlands and China. We have Germany and Great Britain and the United States and Canada playing this evening. So Germany and Great Britain, 7 o'clock local time. I do hope you can join us in 21.15, 9.15 this evening, the United States and Canada.
So the athletes return to the court and we're just moments away from starting the second half. Pascal Monte speaking to his troops there. So, Menard with possession of the ball. France to throw in from the half court. So, can France start to pair back this deficit? That is the question. Nice little pass offensively. Oh, that would have been a nice start to the second half, but not to be. France misses again. Pichon. Unfortunately, unable to score. So we're back down Brazil's offensive end. And be interesting to see whether Suarez Martins is just going to keep scoring all the points for Brazil or whether the team might start working the ball around a little bit. Nice steal there from Anad. And she looks to pass. And again, this Brazilian defence, look at it. It's just so tight. They just always seem to have the numbers. Oh, dear. And a bad, bad pass. But they've managed to collect it back up. So Matthias has a shot. Doesn't fall. And Brazil grabs the defensive board. And they're racing back down the court. But a miss. From Brazil. Matthias grabs the ball. Looks to pass off. It's a... Underarm pass. They're going to get in trouble with the shot clock if they don't uh, start making their way down. So, a little fist pump there from Menard. Another miss from France, but it's back out to the captain, Pichon. What can she create? They've got plenty of time now. The shot clock has reset. Oh, lovely little feed off there. Lovely. So Pichon scores two points, the first score of the second half. Can France build on this? So 31-16. Brazil doesn't have an answer down the other end of the court. Delapine rebounds. She's got no one to pass it to. The defence is in her face, but Edivard doesn't really have many options. She's got the Brazilian player right on her. So she senses an opening. She's going to take a shot from the baseline. Will it fall? It does. So France all of a sudden pairing back that deficit to 13 points looks a lot healthier than 17 points that it was just moments ago. Coach De Silva Carrillo, a little frustrated with his players.
So France managing to get the deficit back to 11 points. A lovely little give and go there. And Brazil under pressure. knocked out of her hands it's not a foul and France will maintain possession so Menard spots Delapine who's going to look at her shot oh that would have been good if it had fallen for France but she has a second attempt oh unlucky France just really struggle to hit the simplest of shots it, they're so close they just roll out very frustrating for them. And in contrast, it just all comes too easily for this woman, Suarez Martins. Who's already shot 30 points for this match. So an opportunity here for France. No, can't quite get to the ball, but they'll have possession at the baseline. Pichon finds Delapine, who's baseline. She's going to have to be careful there. She needs to get out of the paint. She did. So Delapine looks at her shot. But again, it doesn't fall. But at least the French side are getting some more shots away. Oh, that was nearly a backcourt, I would have thought. But anyway. So Pichon scoops it up, but passes it straight to Suarez Navarro, who... Passes it to Guamares de Costa. Oh, lovely shot there. That was de Costa de Costa. doing a lot better this quarter, the third quarter, after they were trailing by 17 points at half time. Now it's 39 plays 22. So no, they, they got off to a better start, but Pichon, the problem with Pichon is that she has three personal fouls. We don't want any more from her.
So a long bomb to Delapine, who passes back off, but it's a steal from the Brazilians, and it's too easy, really. But Delapine is back in it. She steals the ball back, passes low to Menard. Oh, they really need to make those shots. Disappointing. So Brazil back on the offensive. As far as passes to Guamaras to Costa. Oh, ball rebounded off the referee for a moment there, but never mind. They had to get a shot away. It wasn't successful. So no help there. It's a long pass, very loose, and just an opportunity for the Brazilians to grab at the ball. But France has stolen it back. Pichon with the ball. Oh, dear. And they've missed another shot. So that was Laurent. Etavard with the ball again for the French side. So Laurent passes off to Ita. Pichon back in. Etavard shoots. Oh, misses again. But at least they're getting their shots up now, the French side. Oh. So a foul on Laurent. So another two points for Suarez Martins. So 32 points she has, shooting at 56%. So Pichon, oh, it won't fall. And she holds her hands up, <laughs> imploring to anyone to understand the plight that the French shots just won't seem to go in. but. As long as they keep taking them, at some point they will start to fall. So that'll be France's ball from the baseline. there but it wasn't a score it was a, a violation so as far as Martins wants to score again and she does this woman is unstoppable France have come up with no solution to trying to curb her scoring Pichon cuts through, but won't go to the basket. <laughs> and that's number seven, De Costa at Costa. Not happy about the foul that was called on her. No, she says.
far as Martins misses this time. The ball swatted away out of court. And it'll be Brazil's ball from around about the halfway mark. So 10 seconds left in the third quarter. 43 plays, 22. So France got off to a really good start at the beginning of this quarter, but failed to back it up. Oh, three points. Well, she is an absolute star, this woman. 37 points, and we're not even into the fourth quarter yet. So France, there wasn't enough time to get a shot away there. So 46 to 22, 24 point lead. And uh, well, it looks as though all the indicators are that France will head away from London without a win from this tournament. So 15-8 in that third quarter. So for the French side, the captain Pichon has now scored eight points. Belt still has four, Menard four, Delapin four, Edouard's just scored the two points. Edouard's had five rebounds though, and Delapin six, so doing pretty well, Pichon four. And uh, three assists to Menard, and three to Delapin. So a quick score away there for Brazil to start off this fourth quarter. Good looking shot from Edivard, but didn't fall. Menard, sorry. And uh, for Maris de Costa, oh, it was a nasty collision under the basket there, but she'll go to the line for two shots. makes them both the lead now blown out to 28 points that's the biggest they've had so far belts with the ball Edivard unable to get both hands to it and it's stolen back by the Brazilians is it someone else's turn to score no not this time Belts passes over. Matthias. 
Passes back out. So the reset their offense. Bit of fumble from Pichon. So Brazil's ball again. 8.37 left to go in this match. Menard with the ball. Defense is tight from Brazil. So no score. Number seven has been called with a push. So France's ball from the side. So two points for France. Menard the score there. And so they try and salvage what's left of this match. 7.19 left in the fourth quarter. Suarez Martins. He's now scored 41 points, including that cracking three-pointer we saw last quarter. That's great. Etavad. The shot doesn't fall and Matthias tries to grab the rebound and couldn't quite get both hands to it. Bounces out of court. So Brazil's possession, 25 points the difference. 6.21 to play in the fourth quarter.
So Della Penn with the ball passes in, finds Menard, who passes back out. Can't get through the Brazilian defence, which is very intense. So they force the shot clock infringement, and Brazil will have the ball. Martins that brings up 43 points for her for the match. Extraordinary. Just makes it look so easy. So let's have a quick rundown of some of the tweets that you guys have been sending in. You've been sending it to at FTP033. Uh, let's have a look. We've got Paul and Margaret celebrating the Royal Nice block there from Della Pinch. Had her hand in right in the player's face, and then swatted the ball back and belts. Tries to find someone. The Brazilian players are everywhere. Matthias back to belts. Three and a half minutes left. Of this Paralympic experience for both teams. Oh. Oh, all right. So, Delapine back on the offensive. Doesn't have much support at this stage. She passes over to Menard, who fumbles. Back out to the top. Delapine wants to shoot. She looked at the basket, couldn't. Menard. The shots just still won't fall for France.
So 2.37 left in this Paralympic Games for both of these teams. This is their final appearance at these games. Ninth versus tenth. So it looks as though Brazil will get away with the one win from this tournament. And that is this match. France will be winless at London 2012. So finally, a shot falls for the French team. That was Morale, Dorothy Morale, who scored there. So another two points. And they'll go to the line to make it three. Guimeras de Costa. Nice drive to the basket. Maneuvering around and contact the base of her chair. So they'll be very happy with this performance, Brazil, after a somewhat disappointing tournament, failing to get a, a win. They lost to Great Britain by just five points. Very disappointing result for them. They lost to Canada by 14 points. Another score for, for France. They lost to the Netherlands by 13 points. And... Uh, well, surprisingly, lost to Australia by just two points. So they came close in this tournament, Brazil, and it's good to see them get away with a good win here on their final day of competition, on their last game. So there you have it, Brazil gets the win. So they'll finish ninth in this competition. France will have to settle for 10th. So, and a very impressive performance by the captain. Suarez Martin scored 45 points. 
in this win over France. And what a star she's been for the team this tournament. 59-35, the final score for France. The top scorer was, uh, well, there were two. Pichon scored eight points and Bernard scored, uh, well, Belt scored eight as well. Menard scored six as well as Delapin scored six. So a little more even in the scoring 